So we're just a few feet from where we did our other segment, and I just happened to see this horse poop breaking down. Wanted to show you what a good sign is that your biology is working in your field, even over winter. We see the horse poop, and there are pieces of it that still look like horse poop. I noticed there's some earthworm castings here on the surface. Again, those night crawlers. There are vertical burrowers and there's horizontal burrowers. And I believe this is night crawler poop where they've come from deep in the soil profile, pulled some of those leaves down into their burrow, eaten some of this carbon. And then there's other types of earthworms eating bacteria. This is microbial food. There's earthworm poop all over it. These balls that look like this are earthworm castings. So the poop's being literally pulled down into the soil and only little pieces of it are actually still looking like poop. When I look at this part of it, it's starting to break down and look like soil. And it looks like there's some roots in there. I don't think that's fungi. You see how it's building a structure where it's all being held together and it's aggregating the soil. The bacteria form the microaggregates. They take their glues and they stick the little sand, silt, and clay together. And the fungi form the macroaggregates, these larger aggregates that are gluing chunks of chunks together. And um, so this is aggregating our soil. Our soil is getting fluffier. It's flocculating the clay. So this red clay, the soil is red. You can see a little bit of the redness here. Now look at the color of this. This is no longer red. It's changing the calcium magnesium ratios in the soil. It's changing our soil from flat clay that will not absorb water and roots have trouble going through and nutrient is not cycling to this right angled clay that's fluffy and darker and more organic matter. There looks like a lot of different types of earthworms because there's all different sizes of poops. Here's a little burrow. You don't have to touch the manure with your hands if you don't want to. You can touch it with a stick. At least just look around and see are your poops breaking down. Do you see little holes in them? Like this, it's harder to see in the horse poop than the kettle pies, but um, there's little holes that I see. There's evidence that there's been beetle activity in this even when it's cold. Horses were in here in November and it got quite cold after that. So the fact that the poop is breaking down since November is great. The fact that I see a diversity of types of poop is great. It shows that I have a diversity of the food web and the macroinvertebrates eating that. And the fact that I see the soil being built, you know, before my eyes that this poop is taking it into soil is really exciting. Now that's gonna form a new germination layer for new plants in the spring. So I'm really excited. It's also gonna fertilize the plants that are around that pile. That's a really good sign. Just make sure you check out your poops even in the winter. <laughs>